In a secluded rural village, far from urban civilization, lived Edith and her teenage daughter Clara. One cheerful day Edith, sitting outside tending the garden, was startled by a strange creature. Defying recognition, as any she had seen before, with pitch black fur and yellow eyes. About the same size as a rodent, but without a tail and uncanny intelligence, the way it stared at Edith. Suddenly in the blink of an eye before Edith could even react, a sharp pain surged through her arm. A single puncture wound was visible and blood gushing. It seemed rather deep. Looking again the creature had vanished. Edith alarmed brushed inside summoning Clara. Clara noticed the blood and Edith clutching her arm, so promptly cleaned and bandaged the arm, then offered to run Edith a bath to calm her. They discussed this unusual creature, and neither of them had seen anything like it before. That night Edith endured sleeplessness due to the burning pain from the wound. By morning a dark green hue spread from the wound. Bleeding had ceased, instead replaced with festering green fluid. Perplexed they decided to cleanse it with something stronger, attempting to put a stop to whatever was happening. Clara found an old bottle of spirits, when slowly applying it to the wound Edith screamed in pain and subsequently lost consciousness. Clara rebandaged the wound and covered her mother with a blanket. The day passed quietly and uneventful. Clara prepared some soup for dinner and took it to Edith. Attempting to wake her mother, she noticed the same dark green color had spread throughout Edith's body. In a panic, Clara shook her mother trying to rouse her unsuccessfully. Checking for breathing and a heartbeat, it seemed that Edith had passed during her sleep. Overwhelmed with grief, Clara wept, clutching Edith's lifeless body. After a few minutes she said to herself, I need to be strong and get up. Covering Edith's body with a blanket, Clara went outside to eat her soup and decide where to bury her mother. Finding the perfect location in a flat open patch, with a lovely view, she thought I'll start digging early in the morning. Unable to bear sleeping in the house that night, Clara decided to sleep outside in a hammock made from old bed sheets. The following morning, Clara wearily stood up and headed inside the house for something to eat. Glancing over at the bed where Edith was left, Clara noticed the blanket on the floor and the body of her mother no longer there. Astonished for a moment, she started looking around and noticed a figure sitting up in the corner of the bedroom. Mother, says Clara. As the figure raises its head seemingly with some resemblance of Edith, all Clara could notice were the hollow and lifeless eyes with a gaze sending chills up her spine. Come here, the figure says in a croaky voice. Unease grips Clara, although hopeful tries again, Mother, is that you? The figure stands up and steps into the light from the shadowy corner of the room. No longer looking like the mother she knew, but instead a horrifying walking corpse. Clara is overcome with fear and turns to run away. An object flies across the room, hitting Clara forcefully on the back of her head. Clara thuds to the floor, bleeding from her head. Still conscious, she tries to get up, but incapacitated and desperate to escape Clara claws at the wooden floor. Footsteps approach and the figure crouches beside Clara with gleaming yellow eyes and salivating from the mouth. The same croaky voice resounds, Mother is gone, I am hunger, it declares, descending to feast upon Clara's throat. 